Hello guys, time for a little update. Uh, Halt wise I'm doing a bit better so hopefully soon I can make uh, videos on the project again. And uh, uh, in the beginning will be likely to have a bi-weekly video and uh, as soon as I get more uh, material I can get weekly videos again. Um, as for the tracks uh, we were hoping to get them uh, by the end of this year but also due to COVID problems everything is delayed and it will be probably early spring next year but the prototypes I have seen they look awesome so everything is looking good and uh, I guess when we get the new tracks and we can get to test them I'm pretty sure that they will be of a very high quality so uh, shouldn't be a big problem and uh, the Nashorn is going to move home again uh, by the 7th of January, so till the 6th of January uh, you can still go to the museum in Overloan to watch it and after that we will uh, continue work on it. Uh, we will make the gun elevation traverse system, so the entire cradle, so that we can, uh, except for shooting, use the gun to point and uh, yeah, everything is more original. Before we are able to move the Nashorn uh, back home, we have to install this bracket. These two flanges will be welded to the bottom. This bracket is for supporting the gearbox. We have a rubber cushion in between. And then this part will be bolted with these holes to the gearbox. In the beginning we found out uh, that the gearbox, the, the, the way it's supported now is not sufficient so uh, I used some wooden blocks and a strap to strap it down and uh, it make a, made a big difference. So this uh, fix I need to make before we load it on the low loader uh, because the low loader is coming now. It's a lot higher so uh, yeah, we need everything to be sturdy so that we can load safely. So this will be done uh, just before loading. And another thing is that uh, another YouTuber is going to uh, watch us when we are going to fix the Nashorn, the, the gearbox support and also helping out with it and helping with loading and moving it back home. And that's Master Milo. Uh, the link will be down in the description if you are uh, interested in checking out his channel. He's also restoring uh, World War uh, a later war tank from the Gulf War uh, used by Saddam Hussein. It's a T-69 Chinese built uh, tank based on the Russian T-55. So check out his channel uh, for more information and we, you will also see a video about moving the Nassan back home on his channel. This was it for this year and I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you next year. Don't forget to subscribe.